Hey, it's Minnie Fox with the Elite Network. And finally, I finally get to do a show where I could be a little kid. I am so happy today to introduce uh, two wonderful actors and one young up-and-coming production artist. Well, let me tell you. As you know, on the Elite Network, we bring the finest in entertainment, inspiring children, talented people from all over. So I'm excited to tell you about the musical Oliver. It's coming up on August the 31st, September 6th and 7th. Now, Oliver, as you know, was a bad little boy. He was an orphan, he ran away, and he got in trouble with a bunch of young people, learned how to pickpocket, but there was an old man that adopted him and took care of him and got him off the streets. And they sang all kinds of wonderful songs. Oliver the Musical Adventure coming to your theater in Hollywood, California at the Fight Club Theater on August 30th, 31st, September 6th and 7th. Now, it wouldn't be fair to these kids today if you didn't run out and get your tickets. And we hope to see you there. Now, join me in welcoming two fine actors and one wonderful production student. Their names are Lucy Angelo. Hello, Lucy. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Norvell Shaw Floyd. Hello. Hello, Norvell. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. And, oh my God, Miss Goodrum. You want to tell it? what's your first name? Carter. Carter. And the reason why I wanted you to say your first name is because it's spelled very unique. Spell your first name. K-A-R-T-E-R. -E oh my goodness. And that is a producer in the making. Thank you. Thank you all three of you for being on here. And I'm just giddy and I'll probably skip some words because I want to be a little kid today. Can I do that? Yeah. Sure. Okay. We're going to talk about the musical Oliver and what it's like to be in the entertainment world from the kid's perspective in theater. Now, Miss Lucy, you're playing... Oliver. Oliver, that is right. A girl playing a male role. And I understand that you are excellent. Yes, you yes. are? Okay, and Norvell, the character that you're playing is who? I'm playing Mr. Brownlow. Mr. Brownlow was the old man that I saves think. Oliver. This is true. Yeah. Now, Miss Carter, you're behind the scenes. Yes, you work the cameras and the lights and the sound. And I'm excited about having the three of you here today because the young people that will watch our show will know that at your age you are? Nine. And you are? Eleven. And you are? Eleven. At your age, you can do what you're doing. And you don't have to be all into the Nintendos and the games and all of those things. You can get into production and producing and directing and acting and creating characters. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I would like to start with you. Can you tell us a little bit about your character as Oliver? Well, um, in the show, I wear this hat and I actually have hair. You do? Yeah. Well, take the hat off. Let us see your hair. Oh, my. And she's swinging it just like Paris Hilton. Huh. Paris Hilton loves to do that. Top my head. <laughs> and, um, well, Oliver is a little boy, about 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And he just, um, he, he doesn't have a mother or a father. He's an orphan. And he just wants to find a mother to love him. And he, um, like, he went. He um, is, lives at an orphanage, and since there's not enough food, he kind of like is a. After he has his first meal, he wants more. Okay. So then he asks the orphanage owner, Mr. Um, Bumble, if he can have some more, and so which kind of gets him mad. Mm -hmm. So then Mr. Bumble sells him to um, a Undertaker. The Undertaker. Now, how does? Mr. Brownlow's character come into play with you? Um, I th on the street with Dodger and Charlie. I th Charlie, right? Yeah, Charlie. And um, and I think Charlie and Dodger like steal his wallet. Mm -hmm. uh, Oliver steals my wallet, and then I tell you stop, and then you go to court and stuff. Wait, but then someone says that I'm guilty or uh, uh, innocent. So you get in trouble. Right. right. Okay. Because we don't want to tell the whole story. We want 
the I come, audience to come and see the play. So let's I not tell the whole like, story. I come from like a, a little good boy to like a pickpocketing kid. Okay. With like hangs out with Dodger and Charlie. Okay. And Mr. Brownlow, what is your character? Well, Mr. Brownlow is like is an old rich man mm -hmm. who um, adopts Oliver off the streets and um, who and Oliver who steals Mr. Brownlow's wallet and um, just adopts him and is caring for him, teaching him, uh, teaching her all this stuff. Now as an old man, do you get a mustache and a little gray hair and your outfits? Do you get to I, dress up? Yeah, I yes. do get to dress up. I plan, I mostly plan to get the mustache. Okay, well that's going to be fun. And you wear yeah. your hair up the whole time. At the end of the show, you let everybody know that you're really a girl. Girl power, that's girl power, right? <laughs> and sweetie. You're the mastermind behind the camera. You're not in the Oliver production, we understand, but we wanted you to come on as a special guest with us today and talk about what you've done behind the camera. Well, I am I was a camera person for my dad when his cameraman wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So he got a camera for me to use, and I filmed all the cars for him. You filmed some cars. You were at an event? Yes, we are at a car show. At a car show. Oh, well, that's wonderful. See, all of you are here today, and you're inspiring the young people that are watching our show. I'm interested in knowing what other productions have you done? Um, I've done, like, Annie Get Your Gun. I did mm -hmm. that twice, and I've been in Annie four times. Mm -hmm. But the first three times I was an orphan, okay. and this last time I just did it, I was Annie. Wow, Annie is a musical as well. Yes. Okay. And so I got to play an orphan in the same year. Oh, good. But in the last orphan, I was a girl. You were a girl. And I was wearing big red curly okay. hair. <laughs> so you've done a lot of uh, theater. Do you plan on doing any television and film? Um, I'd rather do theater, mm -hmm. but maybe I'll do TV. Okay. And why is that film. your choice to do just theater? Because I like being on the stage more than behind the ca more than on the camera. You like the stage? Yeah. Well, you know, that's your ground roots. That's foundation. And yeah. if you do theater, you can do any type of acting, television, film, the radio, voiceovers. You can do any of that if you can handle theater. So that's a very good place to start. I grew up on the stage. Okay. Well, not exactly on it, but mm -hmm. um, I started loving theater when I was three. Okay. My mom took me to see Crazy for You uh -huh. after I fell in love with the movie. So, and... Um, and then my mom put me in Annie when I was five. Okay. My first an musical. Okay. And then what you're going to do for the future, you're going to start writing and creating your own musicals and your own theatrical productions. And that yeah. way you can perform in your own shows and hire other people and give them opportunities. Nervelle, I understand that you've done television, film, and theater. Yes, I And what have you done that's in TV? Well, what I've done in TV was, um, was a... Nintendo Wii B movie. Nintendo Wii B movie? Mm -hmm. That's the trailer? For yeah. The movie? The okay. Trailer. And I've also done a Jordan tennis shoes that's coming out sometime. The Jordan tennis shoe commercial is upcoming? Yeah. Okay. And what have you done in film? Well, film, I've done a thriller movie called Tenebus, mm -hmm. playing the lead character as a kid. Mm -hmm. And in the other movie, I, I was doing a documentary about Uganda called Ocholand. Ocholand, okay. And what about, what was that TV film? Oh, theater, you did Oliver, yeah. what else? Uh, well, Oliver, you just said that. And um, I've done Phil on the Roof, playing the co-star as Perchick. And I played chorus in the Roseboro Kasumiyama at my school. Okay, what is you with you and the old man characters? Wasn't Perchick an old man too? Yes, and I wore the mustache again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty, and sweetie, you're working on television, film, and theater, right? And you're going to do the cameras and the sounds and the lights? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, and that's a, that's a good field to be in. Do you care to be an actor at any time? Yes. You do? I do. Okay. Name me one of your favorite actors or actresses. Tim Allen. Tim Allen? Yes. Oh, you love comedy, huh? Yes. Okay, and Nerville? Well... Will Smith. Will Smith. And um, um, the girl who played Miss Fantastic and Fantastic Four. I can't think of her name right now. Okay. And you? Um, it's a tie between, for my favorite actress, it's a tie between Dean Menzel and Kristen Chenoweth. 
Okay. But for male, it's um, Chris Farley. Okay. Well, I like comedy too. You got some great characters. Those are, those are great actors to role play with and, and look at. Okay. Yeah. And do you have uh, an agent or manager? I have an agent. Okay. And they are? Um, it's Belle Brumfield at the Brogan Agency. Okay. And you? Um, the Gar, my agent Gar and the Gar and Lester Agency mm -hmm. and my managers Joey and Cindy from the Ultimate Talent Group. Okay. And you're just going to tell the agents and managers what to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fun part. Tell them what to do. Yeah. <laughs> so we always want to be very grateful for our agents and our managers, right? Yeah. Because they help you get all that work, keep you busy, and your mom and dad and family and friends keep My you... My momager. Your momager? My momager. I like that. How do you spell momager? M-O-M-A-G-E-R. Oh. And so would you have a daddy-ger? Just a daddy momager? Daddy-ger, maybe. Dadager. Dadager. D a d a g e r. D a d a g e r. Okay. Well, let's talk a little bit more about Uncle Oliver. Ledger. Again, we mentioned that it's um, the Hollywood Fight Club Theater that's producing this production, mm -hmm. and you have uh, David and Joanne, who are the producers and directors, have an opportunity to meet them, and they are so great. They're doing wonderful things for young people in Hollywood. So let's give your whole team and your cast a round of applause over there. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, David and Joanne. All right. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do at this time, I would like to see the two of you. There's a song in Oliver that's the theme song that I happen to know as a little girl. Consider yourself at home. That one. I want to, I want to hear you to uh, sing that and perform a little bit of that for us, okay? About a verse okay. or two? Okay. How about we have that? Um, a dance. You have a dance? As well. Okay. Okay. Let's do this one. I like this one. Okay. Okay, you ready? Two. One, two, three. Consider yourself at home. Consider yourself part of the family. We've taken to you so strong. It's clear we're going to get along. Consider yourself well in. Consider yourself part of the furniture. There isn't a lot to spare. Who cares? Whatever we got, we share. If it's a chance to be, we should see some other days. Empty lot of days, why grouse? Always a chance to meet somebody to foot the bill. And the drinks are on the house. Can't see yourself, oh mate. We don't want to have no fuss. For after some consideration, we cast it. Can't see yourself. One of us. City yourself, one of me. Oh, how about that? That was great. Thank you. So, Thank who's you. your dance choreographer? Um, Jenny. Jenny, who obviously, who unexpectedly left to Kentucky about some personal things. Mm -hmm. Her so now, son. Yeah. So we have a new choreographer. We I don't, don't know the know name yet. Okay. Uh, it's like M Micah or something. Yeah, the two of you work real good together. You know, now you kind of back each other up and you're trying to think, you're trying to think, he says it, she says it. Right? Yeah. That's pretty good. Mostly following her. Mostly following her? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to share some other things a little bit later, but we want to talk a little bit about your other cast members because obviously we couldn't have every single cast member on the show, but I do have their pictures and I want to show you the other beautiful young ladies and guys. There's Brianna, there is Victoria, there's Ariana. Ariana's picture is turned a little different here. We're going to move it along. And there's Porter. Hey. Hey, Hello, Porter. Porter. We got Joseph. Um, we call him Grant. Grant, okay. Deanna. Dana. Dana. We got Dana. Can we see those good there, guys? Am I holding it right? Okay. Skyland. Go, Skyland. There's Tori. Tori and Skyland are sister and brother. And they play husband and wife. And for they the play show. husband and wife for the show. Isn't that cute? Okay, there's Jeremy. Dodger. He's playing Dodger. And this is Kevin. Kevin, Kevin Fagan. playing Fagan. Fagan. Fagan and uh, Noah. Kenneth. Ke Ke Kenneth. Who, Kenneth. Who Noah. Who's actually in real life? Um, Kevin's, Kevin's brother. brother. Okay, Kevin's brother. And this is Sam. Melkinov. Melkinov. He plays Mel Charlie. And who Mel is this? Me. That's you. And who is this? Oh, their pictures are stuck together. 
and that's me and that's Norvell. Norvell. Norvell and Lucy Mr. Brownlow and Oliver oh, from the back. musical Oliver Did musical adventures now there are two people whose pictures were not um, posted because I didn't have pictures of them and they are Jessica who's playing Nancy and Jamie is playing B E T bet bet that's like, bet yeah okay are you excited about this play yes, yes. I'm really excited about playing it you're really excited yeah. um my mom actually did Oliver once when she was younger she did she played the narrator which is actually bigger than Oliver Ooh. okay yeah you gotta read all of that and Get everything together. Do you have anyone else in your family that are actors? Mm, my dad wants to be a TV producer. He does? Well, yeah. that's a great place to be. What about you, Nervell? Um. Well, uh, that's kind of tough. Um, my dad, mm -hmm. he um, he plays um, body doubles for um. For movies? For action movies. Okay. Like stunt doubles? Yeah, stunt doubles. Cool. There. Oh. I don't know, your dad was a boxer too, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Yeah, he was a heavyweight champion, huh? Yeah. That's pretty cool. You got good hands? Nah. No? Nah. You like karate. I read up on you. You like karate. Mm hmm Uh-huh. Okay, and what's your mom do? My mom, she's an actress, and um, she does um, very good. She um she um played on Mad TV, mm -hmm. and she's also done some movies and that came to Blockbuster and a one named Auto Parole CB4 oh. and Sweet Potato Pie. Okay, and your dad is a producer director. Yes. So you're learning the other side of the camera. What is that like? It's cool because my grandfather and my dad like are tech like they like to do technical stuff mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they work cameras and sometimes they teach me how to do it put in computer chips, how to turn on computers, wow. work cell phones and stuff. So that's going to be a good feel for you. Yes. You're teaching her bells. And all of you are color coordinated today. Yeah, we're all ready. This was so like, unexpected. No? <laughs> I just picked this out. Well, you know, wardrobe is a big part of your business. It is. You know, to look good, to feel good in what you're wearing. But sometimes you have to wear things you don't want to wear. What is that like when you have to portray a character that you didn't want but you got the part for? Well, now when I go to the mall, I have to search in the boys section. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. So people will be like, what are you doing in the boys section? I'm, like, I'm looking for my brother or something like that uh -huh. for his birthday. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you don't like about it? Well, much. there's like, I like wearing vests like this. Mm -hmm. I'd probably wear this in the show. And okay. I, yeah. And what about you, Navelle? What do you not like about the business? Well, um, actually nothing. I actually like about the business, not not like, I don't have anything that I don't like about business. Not even getting cold and you have to shoot in the cold? Maybe outside. Uh -huh. That will be, well, well, oh, okay, let's go there. Yeah, let's go there? Yeah. Okay, sometimes you have to shoot outside in the cold, sometimes in the water, the water's dirty, you don't want to get in it or you're shooting and the wind's blowing and it's just really cold, that could be uncomfortable. But great actors come up out of that, right? Yeah. My right. friend was once in a film where she had to jump in this like really cold water. Really? Oh my oh. goodness. So you don't have to worry about that. You sometimes just have to make sure that the... Sometimes I do. It's you do? Cool. Yeah, you gotta worry about bad. whether it's raining and you're holding the camera? Yeah. 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 Because when, we, when I was shooting the car show, mm -hmm. I, d I don't think I had a jacket, oh. and it was night, mm -hmm. and it was cold, and I had to hold the camera in a position that, I, that hurt my wrist, and I had to hold it like that for an hour. Ouch. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, you know what? We had a very special guest at one of our earlier shows that we called Auditions, Mastering the Auditions, and that gentleman who is... John Marshall Jones, who was a very well-known actor, he played on the uh, hit comedy series called The Smart Guy. Mm -hmm. He left one of his DVDs for each one of you. Cool. It tells you how to master that audition, how to go out there, get that job, do what you have to do, stand up and be counted, so to speak. And 
Collier Emerald Studios, the Kids Club, which is workshops and enrichment programs for literacy, has donated this beautiful bag for you. Whoa. The Kids Club bag. You also got a membership. I like that. So you all get a green membership card and registration. And then all your parents have to do is uh, call the number on the inside to get all the other information, and you'll be a Kids Club NJC member. How cool. about that? So you have your bag and you're mastering the audition DVD and just put that in there and go home and learn more about this wonderful industry that you are in. Okay? And we want to thank Mr. Jones and Coley Amber Studios for giving that to you. Huh? Thank you, Mr. Jones. Thank, thank you, Mr. You. Jones. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. Okay. Thank now. you for letting us be on your show. Oh, you're welcome. You're not done yet. I got a lot of questions for you. Just you got some questions? Just okay. Like. So what school do you attend? I'm homeschooled. You're homeschooled? Wow. Well, let's talk about that. What is homeschool like? Um, sometimes I fight with my parents, mm -hmm. but when we don't fight, it gets through really quickly. Okay. And um, I like it. It's because mm -hmm. sometimes when I finish early, I can goof off and stuff. Okay. Instead so of you're being honest now, homeschool is how many hours at home? Three usually. Three hours. Sometimes it takes longer when I fight with them. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you fighting about? Um, I argue because I don't want to like do it and stuff. But if you were in school, you'd have to do it anyway. I know, so okay. I have to stop doing that. So you have to stop doing this. So look over there in your camera and say, Mom. Mommy. Daddy. Daddy. I love you. And I'm gonna. And I'm gonna stop arguing with you because I'm saying this on national television. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't argue with your mom and dad. Right. Okay? Because without them, you don't have anybody. Don't have friends at school, your movies, your, your theatrical productions, your hairstylists, makeup artists, they're just people that are in your life to do the job that needs to be done at the time. And when you go home, you're with your parents. When school is out, your home school is over, you're with your parents. When you need shoes and clothes and things for your productions, you go to your parents. So truly, they're really all you have. So you want to nurture them and embrace them and be grateful that you have them because some young ladies don't. Okay? And Norvell, we're going to come back to you later. You over there. <laughs> you. You. You're in a good position with your parents, working behind the scenes. Tell us what your dad is like to work with. My dad is a good person to work with because if I don't know what to do, he could be there to tell me mm -hmm. what to do. And so I know, and I won't make that mistake again. And he just tells me it's good. Okay, and what school do you go to? I am going to a new school. A new school? A new school. What school did you go to? Bret Hart. Bret Hart, where's that? It's in Long Beach. Okay. Long Beach. Okay. Well, Nervelle, what school did you go to? Uh, I used to go to Han um, Hancock, and my new school that I'm going to, it was, was Rosewood, but now since I'm going to middle school, I'm going to JB, JB which JB? stands for John Burroughs. John Burroughs. Oh, okay. That's a good school, too. So you all will be very... Highly educated, homeschool, and regular schools, getting what you need to do. I'm also picked for the drama school at, as a sixth grader at John Burroughs. Oh, you're going to be in the drama production? Yeah. Oh, it's that's mo great. Because they pick four people mm -hmm. to be in, four sixth graders to be in it, because they don't usually put sixth graders in it, only seven eighth, but I'm one of the lucky ones. Well, consider yourself at home. <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't always been homeschooled. I was, mm -hmm. I also, I went to, um, private schools. Name your school. Name at least one of your schools. Mission Viejo Christian School. Okay. I moved here from Orange County. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you got school. You have your parents. You have all your friends and family supporting you. You have your goal set, I think, in a good direction. Theater, again, is the foundation to any <laughs> uh, successful acting career. Hmm? 
You got your gifts from Mr. Jones and from Color Image Studios that get you started. Yeah? yeah. What if you could pull um, a straw and at the end of that straw it had a particular production or something that you really wanted to do, what would it be? What I want to do? Oh, wow. What I would you want to do in, in, in theater that would be something major for you in theater? <laughs> I, I can't think of that right now. Girl, you want to play on Broadway. Right. In New York, in the big shows on Broadway, that's what you want to do. Yeah. Because you're theater bound. Oh, oh. Um, I want to do Alphaba and Wicked. There you go. Did we see Wicked? I saw Wicked. Did you see Wicked? No. Okay. Well, we're going to come back to that. I've seen it four times. You saw it four times? You saw it once? You haven't seen it yet? You got to see it so you can see what they did behind the scenes. We're going to take this a moment and go to our PSA break and talk to you about everything that has to do with the Oliver Show. Now, we always show our PSA, and right now we're having a little bit of technical difficulty with that, so we're going to skip past it and allow you one more time to say hello to Lucy, who is playing Oliver in the musical, <laughs> and to say hello to Norvell, and hello to Carter. We thank you so much for being on our show today. We greatly enjoyed your time. And Lucy, would you take us out with one of your songs? Sure. Can I stand up? Go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure you all know this song. It's from Oliver. And it's um, a part of Where is Love? Where is she? Oh, I close my eyes to see. Will I ever know the sweet hello that's meant for only me? Who can say where she may hide? Must I travel 